here's a video on how to program a what engine is this? It's a GE. Let's see, it's like a GEV six two. Oh, okay, GEV. And what we're going to be using, we're going to be using. V twenty three dash seven. Okay, what? Who makes it? Atlas. It's Gold Series. It's Gold Series, and it has sound, right? Yes. All right, sound. So it has all the works. And what we're going to be using, we're going to be using NCE system with an NCE Pro Cab, and we're going to be using computer hooked up through through this cable that connects to the computer to use Decoder Pro. And so first, we're going to make sure we so now what we're going to do. We're just going to enter in the locomotive number, which is 3, because they're all set to 3 from factory. And as you can see, there it goes. Can you check the front of my light for me? Yes, it's on. Alright. What are we going to do? We're going to switch it from run to program. And then we go to our decoder pro we're gonna go to programming track a little list comes up we're gonna turn it on comprehensive and we're just gonna read the decoder type so after a quick second it found it atlas b23-7 and all we gotta do is go down here hit open programmer and we'll get a huge list of everything we could do from light control to taking in and out of a consist all the way to sound levels and everything what we're going to do for our good friend Cody is we're going to head over to basic <coughs> and what I'm going to do I'm going to read full sheet and this is going to give us all of the values that are already set for the his engine goes over here, and where we go to the two byte system, and we're going to type in Cody's engine number, which is 1978, and we want direction and all this good stuff to be normal. Then we just go down here to so write changes on sheet. When it does that, it'll give us a little red thing saying, Hey it took and we clarify that by going down here bring it back on run we go to the pro cab we don't go use three anymore so we just go down here hit flip loco type in his new number which is 1978 hit enter and what do you know And so Cody, you said you want to adjust the sound yes. on the bell? Yes, I want the bell to go louder. Alright. So we're just gonna put it back in the program mode. Whoa. Something's coming. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna go up here to sound and volume control. And now it gives us a huge list of everything that your engine does. And so I'm just going to do a read full sheet to find out all the values. So Alright, now we're going to be, since all the values have been finished, well we stopped it so that's why there's still the red and the yellow like that. But we stopped it because it was going to take up a little bit too much of time, but Cody wants his bell turned up. What we're going to do, we're going to set it a little bit higher. Then I'm just going to go down here to write changes. Looks at the bell, sees that that was a change made. Clears itself, meaning that it took. Then we go down. And put it on run. Go back to here.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Cody now likes his new bell sound. Good. 